Welcome to the Sunday Update. Nate Gardner with you. Almost 90 flood warnings are in place across Victoria as some residents are told it's too late to leave. More than a dozen evacuation orders are in place with five major river systems inundating towns and communities across the state's north and northwestern regions. Victoria Police Assistant Commissioner David Clayton says crews have been kept busy. Emergency services agencies have responded to over 350 rescues. Of those rescues, more than 200 have been to homes. 150 to people driving through floodwaters and 10 to capsized tinnies. Infrastructure spending will be a focus of the upcoming federal budget. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is set to announce over $5 billion worth of projects for New South Wales, Queensland and Victoria alone, including money for Melbourne suburban rail loop and high-speed rail between Sydney and Newcastle. Cyclists will hit Sydney's major roads across the CBD for the first spring cycle in two years. Two lanes of traffic have also been closed on the Harbour Bridge. United Nations officers will touch down in Australia on Monday to inspect our prisons. It will be the first time inspections have taken place since Malcolm Turnbull's government ratified the operational protocol to the Convention Against Torture in 2017. In Iran, a jail housing political prisoners is on fire, with smoke billowing over the capital, Tehran. The country has been rocked by a protest since the death of a woman in custody for not wearing a hijab. And an asteroid-hopping NASA craft will skim the Earth's atmosphere on Sunday evening, passing over Australian skies. The craft, called Lucy, is using the Earth's gravity to slingshot towards asteroids in Jupiter's orbit. To sport now, and it's brought to you by Ladbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply, and remember, gamble responsibly. Call 1800 858 858. The Rugby League World Cup is up and running, with Australia opening its campaign with a 42-8 win over Fiji. Earlier, the host nation, England, easily taking care of Samoa, getting up 60-6. Rooster and English lock, Victor Radley, winning player of the match on debut. I'm not sure how I got player of the match, I'm a bit embarrassed, but... Um, really, really good game. We knew they were going to come out firing, and um, they did. In the first 20 minutes, I was so tired, so um, it was good for us to hang in there and keep fighting. We knew we would, so um, we ended up scoring points at the end. And in NBL, wins to the Breakers over the Phoenix and Adelaide, too good for Illawarra. And for even more sports news, make sure you check out the Sports Update. You'll find it wherever you're listening to this show. To entertainment news now, extreme weather leading to flooding across Australia is having a major effect on the music festival scene. Several popular events such as Strawberry Fields on the Murray River and Wagga Wagga's Flow Festival have been forced to cancel their annual events this year. New life has been breathed into long-running music trivia show Rock Quiz. It's been resurrected by Foxtel for a new season next year. And director Guillermo del Toro has put on a brave face to attend the world premiere of Pinocchio in London just a day after the death of his mother. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.